Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today the random place where I'm doing my makeup is this Bry Room restaurant and I'm with both of my siblings and my mom, which is a rare occurrence since we don't all live together anymore. But I decided while we were eating out, I was gonna pull up my sleeves and I'm gonna get a video done because gosh darn it, it's been a while since I've done my makeup. So, as usual, I started out by spraying my setting spray all over my face and giving it a moment to dry before showing both the fam and the camera the foundation stick I'm going to use, which is one of the Revolution makeup ones, and then I used it to draw foundation on all over my face. And I couldn't resist drawing a mustache on my face. I thought my mustache was pretty cool until Minion came with her finger mustache and then stepped it up with her straw one, which was actually pretty funny. To blend out a cream foundation like this, I use a dual fiber brush and spread it as evenly as I can all over my face and then once I'm happy with that, I go in with my beauty blender in an attempt to smooth it all out so that you don't see the brush strokes from the brush. I'm sure if you use a softer bristled brush, you wouldn't have the lines, but with mine you still get streaks and the beauty blender just makes it look better in any ways. My only issue is cream foundations take forever to blend with a beauty blender alone, so that's why I use both steps. And as you'll see, my camera keeps falling because I'm sitting with a table of people that keep bumping the table, so it keeps falling over, but it is okay. We shall continue. Everyone around me got food, but my wisdom teeth were killing me at this point, so I couldn't really eat all that much. I decided not to order something and just steal some fries from my siblings instead. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I could definitely see that one side of my face was slightly swollen compared to the other, and I could definitely feel it. It was not a pleasant weekend. I finally got like antibiotics and painkillers and stuff to help deal with that but at this point I was still very much swollen. Luckily I will never have to deal with my wisdom teeth again. That was the last one that had to come out so hopefully I'm over with it now but after I applied my concealer I blended it out with my beauty blender and then I drowned my face in setting powder to make sure that cream foundation isn't going anywhere. Next, I'm moving on to my brows because I don't know what to do with my eyeshadow yet. So I combed them out, picked up an eyeliner brush, and then slowly worked it through my brows. I'm using this Essence eyebrow kit that I got way back when before I was really into makeup. And I was not a fan of it when I got it, but recently I've learned to love it, so that's what I'm using today. And then Minion was nice enough to feed me some fries, which was amazing because I didn't have to get my hands oily, number one. And number two, I could actually easily fit the fries into my mouth and chew it without feeling like I was dying. And yes, I'm being dramatic about my wisdom teeth, but I didn't want to take my painkillers, so this is kind of what happens. The food at this place is good. It's like the homemade barbecue type of stuff that you never get anywhere, but it's being sold in this restaurant. I didn't even know that was a thing, but I'm very glad it is a thing because it's divine. Back to the makeup though. I am moving on to my eyeshadow. I'm using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, which I am a huge fan of. And I'm using the pale shade in it to just set my lids before I start with anything. Now, I asked my mom what color she thinks I should do, and she said because I'm wearing a gray dress that she recently got for me, that I should probably do some gray type of eyeshadow. So I used the blending brush, picked up the gray eyeshadow in this palette, and I blended it into the outer part of my crease. I used the flat shader brush to pull a bit of a gray color onto my lids and to diffuse it as I go in, so there's a bit of a gradient going on. I then picked up my fluffy blending brush and just made sure everything was blended into my crease. Because I was using such a cool toned color, I didn't want to use a transition shade because I tend to use warm transition shades and it wouldn't have worked that well. I then also picked up a lighter color and put it in the inner corners of my eyes and then the camera fell again. But all is fine because after that I got a fry and that put everything right back onto track. I made sure everything was blended and Minion came to just say hi and bye. Minion and Tixie were gonna head out, so Minion came to say bye and then they spoke for a while more and then they eventually finally headed out, so... In the meantime, I'm just blending my eyeshadow and I'm trying to form like a cat eye with a pointed blending brush so that it like drags my eye upwards and it doesn't all depend on the eyeliner. I then used my flat shader brush to apply some of the same colors on my lower lash line and then used a fluffier brush to just blend that out as well. I used a black eyeliner to line my waterline and I tight lined as well which as you can see is not the most comfortable thing but by this point I'm pretty used to it because I love the effect it has. Especially in the inner corners it makes your actual eyeliner easier because you don't have to drag it in all that much. But here I whipped out my eyeliner, I believe I got this one from Wet n Wild and I'm just drawing on cat eyeliner because I can't live without cat eyeliner.
Here I'm curling my lashes and hiding behind my palette. It's a really pretty palette. I love the design of this thing because it's pictures of all these familiar places, but I kept hiding behind it so you can't always see what I'm doing. That milkshake was great by the way. There's this place on campus that sells peanut butter milkshakes and those are to die for. Anyways, here my siblings finally decided to head out and said their goodbyes, or at least they were standing at this point and heading towards the door, which is progress. If you know anything about family gatherings, it takes long to get yourself out of the place. But I asked one of my siblings to pick my lipstick for me and then I just proceeded to put it on. This is one of those ColourPop lipsticks that dry matte and it's a soft pink color that I'm comfortable wearing. It's not as bright as the other pinks I have, like this one that I'm applying on the outer corners to create a bit of an ombre. I then just use my fingers to blend it out and make sure it's all neat because I didn't really use a lip liner so I just kind of cleaned it up like that. Then when I was happy with everything I applied my setting spray to make sure my makeup's gonna stay in place. And I looked over at my mom to make sure she thinks everything is okay before I untied my hair. And this look with the sunglasses is what I look like most of the time. So even though it was working, I decided to take it off and just part my hair normally before showing you the final result. And then that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye!